video. I'm going to try to do one of these a week, probably on Wednesday night, maybe. At least one a week. I'll try not to do more than that so you guys don't get completely sick of me. I tried to bring a special guest this week and we were going to do that but she could not make it due to circumstances beyond her control. So maybe next week we will have a special guest and that'll be fun. Um, also tried to get the special guest from upstairs to come down and help me, but he was not interested tonight. He's too tired from working all day. So I'm just going to wing it by myself. Boring, but oh well. Um, so tonight I have chosen a theme, which is the zombie, the zombie cocktail. So I have made a zombie playlist, which I've got a good little playlist. It's not all going to make it on this video, but I'll post it in the comments. Maybe I'll put it on Spotify or something like that. Well, zombie playlist is pretty awesome. And I've got my victim's willing, Brad Barker, haha, uh -huh. uh, zombie t-shirt. Anyway, so we're, we are going to make a zombie cocktail. And while I have drank many of these, I've never made one myself. I've been meaning to for a while, but I have just haven't gotten around to it. So. I am going to have to use my little cheat sheet here, sorry about that, and also depending on how this turns out and how I like this recipe, I may change it up a little bit at some point, so I might do a revised uh, video for it if I decide I like, I want to tweak it a little bit, but we'll see how this turns out. So let's get started. Tonight I am using Appleton Estate for our rum because that's just what I have on hand as well as Gosling's 151 Overproof Rum. Um, we also use Falernum, Velvet Falernum for this, which is a, a lime and almond and a tiki spice syrup. Um, used in a lot of tiki drinks, kind of a signature flavor. And a few other things. I am going to, I'll be doubling this recipe because I'm going to be making two cocktails. So we will start with our rum into the shaker. I'm going to do uh, four ounces for, again for two cocktails. And a little background on this cocktail. This was created by Don the Beachcomber, the grandfather of Tiki Dome. And uh, apparently the name came from, this was created in the 1930s. Oh, I hope that's the quantity I think it is. <laughs> Talking and measuring isn't my strong suit. Anyway, he created this cocktail in the 1930s and his pal had three of them and apparently it turned him into a complete zombie. So this is a little, not quite as strong as that version, but you know, we don't need any zombies in the house tonight. And uh, okay, so next is our 151 overproof rum and we are gonna do one ounce of this, so half ounce per cocktail. Uh, okay, next we've got fresh lime juice, and we're going to do two ounces of fresh lime juice. Little Harry Belafonte on the playlist. Zombie Jamboree. Um, Velvet Flurnum, ounce, half ounce each. And next is a brown sugar simple syrup. I made this a while back and then never got around to making the zombie. But this is, uh, I made this with equal parts brown sugar and water boil it till uh, the brown sugar is dissolve, dissolved and obviously cool it, store it. So brown sugar, simple syrup. Um, ounce of that. I think that's all 
of our ingredients. Some pineapple juice one. Yep, okay. And I'm gonna fill my tiki mugs with ice. Put Kim Lens on the playlist now. Um, okay, a little scoop of ice in our shaker. Give it a nice good shake. As I like to do. Strain it into your ice filled tiki mugs. Perfect quantity. I love that. Oh yeah, and I'm going to garnish this with some mint sprigs that I picked out of the garden. And some little umbrellas. Pretty. And of course our grass reed straws biodegradable, reusable, durable. I like them. And I'm going to give this a try. Oh boy, that's good. Strong, but really good. Mm -hmm. It's a good recipe. I'm a fan. And take this one up to the fella upstairs see how he likes it so enjoy i'll post all the ingredients and uh instructions in the comments of course and let me know what you think okay thanks guys see you next week if not sooner okay bye